Democratic lawmakers are discussing President Biden's status in the race for president. That's as the president makes a call for unity. And today's Iris Tao has more from the White House. And president Biden highlighting the power of alliances as he commemorates the 75th anniversary of NATO. These 12 leaders gathered to make a sacred pledge to defend each other against aggression, provide their collective security, and to answer threats as one. Speaking at a NATO summit in D.C., Biden is seeking to convey strength as his 2024 campaign comes under scrutiny. In separate meetings, House and Senate Democrats talked about President Biden's viability as the party's 2024 candidate, many of them acknowledging concerns. That he did not have a good debate performance. Frankly, the concerns that I've heard from people around the country. But still expressing confidence in the president. He knows that he has to be out there. He needs to continue to make that case. The American people earn their support. He's going to be on the road talking about Project 2025 and the things people care about. Do you think that Biden all the way. Yes. Go Biden. Yes. Meanwhile, a few House Democrats are calling for him to drop out. A dismissive letter is not going to change any mind. But the White House on Tuesday said Biden would not stop. Some congressional members who feel differently, it is that is that is up to them, right? The president wants to continue. He's going to have those conversations. He's going to engage. Reporting from the White House, Iris Howe, NTD News. And former President Trump has challenged President Biden to another debate this time one without moderators. The presumptive GOP nominee issued the challenge at a rally in Florida. Here's Trump last night. But this time it will be man to man, no moderators, no holes barred. Just name the place anytime, anywhere. Trump also challenged Biden to a golf match, referencing their exchange during June's debate. The Biden campaign reacted, saying the president doesn't have time for weird antics. He stated Biden's busy leading America and defending the free world. Biden and Trump are set to debate again on September 10th. That debate will be hosted by ABC News. Biden's campaign says the president plans to attend.